All right, so I know I haven't made one of these videos in a while and it's been a pretty long time and pretty much all the people who were here when I was making these types of videos are now all gone or at least 90% of them are because, well, you know, most people have a one track mind and attention spans that of a goldfish, so I can't blame them. But for those of you who are still here, uh, I appreciate you. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the wildest stories that I've ever heard in a long time, and it's probably gonna be one of the wildest videos that has been on this channel in months, because what you guys are about to see right here in this video will leave you dumbfounded because of who this is about. Now, recently, Dr. Phil had a guest on his show who is an aspiring rapper from New York. Baby, welcome to the party. I'm off the perky, the honey, the weed. That's why I'm moving real naughty. That's why I'm moving real naughty. And she goes by the name of Telly Zelly. Yes, that is first name Telly, as in if a British person is picking up the Telly, and last name Zelly, as in she couldn't find another name to go along with her first name, so she replaced the T in her first name and added a Z instead to make it Zelly. Yeah, I know, super creative. But at least it isn't a lil, followed by whatever random household object you can find in your house. I was 13 when I started shipping lean. So when I first heard about this story, I was blown away because, well, first of all, this girl has suck my followed by some part of the male human body that I cannot say in this video because it will get deleted by YouTube if I do. Tattooed on the right side of her forehead, just above her eyebrows. Now, just as a disclaimer, I don't have a problem with tattoos. I think they can sometimes be cool. Most times not because of how many dumbasses make them look bad. And in all honesty, in this instance, she's one of those dumbasses. <laughs> So clearly, she's super happy about this life-changing decision that has officially banned her from signing up for any jobs in the near future when she finally figures out that tattooing, what is essentially just suck my pee pee on top of her forehead wasn't such a bright idea. And soon after she got this suck my dick tattoo on her forehead, the video of her getting it went viral on Instagram. And I believe she said that she got like 4 million views in one day or something like that. And I'm assuming out of those millions of views, Dr. Phil or one of his associates were one of them and, and not too long after got into contact with Telly Zelly about who she is, why she did this, and to ask her if she would like to come onto the Dr. Phil show. And of course, she accepted. Because obviously, if you're willing to tattoo suck my dick on top of your forehead, especially seeing as you're a girl and you don't even have one, what that tells me is that you're definitely willing to do almost anything. Suck my f yeah, I'm here. Nice to doing? meet you, Phil. How you doing? I'm doing awesome. Yeah. What's up? What it do? What's up? What up? What up? What up? So, uh... Damn, it's crazy how she walked in there all confident and whatnot, made some kind of bird mating call, rubbed her hands like Birdman when he's ready to do something evil, walked up to Dr. Phil and straight up called him Phil. Phil. And then she looked around and sat down like everything was all normal. Like, honestly, bro, she was definitely on something to have her come into the studio like she owned the place. And, you know, I'm kind of wanting her to give me some of whatever that something is. So, for context, since most of you won't really know what's going on here, this girl, Telly Zelly, which is obviously not her real name, wasn't always a wannabe gangsta type rapper from New York who had the words suck my dick written across her forehead. Once upon a time, long, long ago, far, far away, our loudmouthed New York Cardi B wannabe was a straight A student who was in the top of her class and actually got a four year scholarship for being such a smart student. When the world tells me you hit hard for a girl, I tell them you are wrong because us girls, we hit harder. Like, how do you go from an inspirational speaker and poet talking about uplifting girls and telling them that they can do anything to three years later becoming a Cardi B wannabe with a suck my dick tattoo on your five head and rapping about Baby, welcome to the party. I'm off the perky, the honey, the weed. That's why I'm moving real naughty. <laughs> Bro, something, something here doesn't quite add up because like for comparison, there's no way like say Jenna Marbles can go from being Jenna Marbles to uh, a, a Tana Mongu in less than three years. But based on my detective work and the information that I've gathered, apparently she went to college, right? Using her four year scholarship. And then in the middle of her second year of college, she dropped out of school. So I'm assuming sometime between the time that she actually graduated high school and the time before she dropped out of college, Something or someone changed her mind and made her instead of wanting to become a makeup artist or a lawyer or a doctor made her want to pursue this weird dream of becoming a worldwide famous rapper with a suck my dick tattoo on her forehead who sounds like she comes from the roughest, toughest parts of New York that only eat cereal with no milk, like just straight air and cereal in the bowl. 
kind of crazy how she did a 180 like that with her whole personality. So what's your plan? My plan is to just continue doing what I'm doing and that's building a portfolio of genres of music, visuals. I create the treatments for my own videos. I sit there, I budget. It's hard, I'm doing it alone, independently. Like, clap for that. Like, most people can't do it on their own. Thank you, that one little person, yeah. Damn, bro, she was really out here pouring her heart out, explaining why she's doing what she's doing and trying to be as real as possible. And literally only one person clapped? That's tough. Man, after that first and only clap, I, I would have just, I would have had to walk right off that stage and just rethink my whole entire life after only getting one clap like that, because, that's just embarrassing. So yeah, uh, shortly after that whole embarrassing moment, Telly Zelly's beautiful mom brings up a good point about what she could do if she really wants to pursue her rap career. I believe in me. Then why not go to school for something with music if that's what you want to really do? And yeah, it would seem like the smart thing to do, right? But obviously what her mom just doesn't get is that you don't have to go to college to know how to rap about. Let me pull these lyrics up. Baby, welcome to the party. I'm off the perky, the henny, the weed. That's why I'm moving real naughty. Daddy, welcome to the party. I heard you're alone. Got me lit. Like, it doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to come up with these lyrics. Like, I, I could come up with this shit instantly off the top of my dome. Uh, I won't do that right now, but like, obviously, you don't need a PhD to come up with lyrics like that. Unless you're just that dumb. In which case, by all means, go ahead and pay $100,000 to get a degree in the art of mumble rapping <laughs> pick up that 40 pole in your moly the way i got two foot thick i call me smoking no dope you cause i can't cody if you got problem i call him my bros keep fucking so good and you put this wall pull it to you and your damage is so this is what happened you tell but you told whipping the butt like a thing on the stove all right so i'm just now sitting here editing and watching this video and i i just gotta run this back like what the fuck was this man actually saying like bro this man was out here actually speaking a whole other different ass language whipping the butt like a thing on the stove hold on Designer is really out here speaking ancient alien type languages that need to be decrypted by the most advanced technologies that we currently have. I don't even think that the language that designer is out here speaking can be decrypted or translated by the technology that we currently have. Like, bro. You know, these but I just, what's outdated. the end? What's the end route now with this tattoo on your face? All right, well, this is just the beginning. But you know, <clears throat> in all honesty, I, I really don't believe she has a plan for the long-term future. I think she's living in the moment, you know, going with the flow, not thinking about tomorrow and only caring about what's happening today. You know, just living super spontaneously and out of that spontaneity came the birth of this beautifully crafted work of art. So apparently, as I was doing more research on this girl, it seems as though that her brother has been a major influence on her whole personality change within the last three years or so. And apparently, not only did he introduce her to a little bit of that Mary J, he also nudged. In fact, more like pushed her into the direction of actually becoming a ripoff Cardi B. Seeing right through uh, you niggas like uh, crystal balls. Yeah, Feening yeah, yeah. Feeling yeah. and itching to figure how I get involved. Cause uh -huh. first I look soft, but yeah. then it go hard. Man, yeah. I switch to yeah. the pad like a girl who just bled her drawers. It ain't made up. I'm dead ass. My story gon' speak. All right, so I mean, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. She does have flow. She's not half bad. But uh, based on what I just heard, she's definitely better than a lot of these other up and coming rappers. And even the established ones like Blueface, who can barely stay on beat and Lil Pump, who can barely freestyle without saying, like, Ooh. over and over again. Like, my man's is out here literally sounding like an owl or some shit. Kind of crazy how you can get paid millions for that. But again, as far as the tattoo goes, here's the only real specific answer that I could get of her explaining why she really got the suck my dick tattoo written on her forehead. Yeah, I got a tattoo. It says suck my dick. This is your first tattoo forehead. too, right? Yeah, it's for sure my forehead. What made you want to get this tattoo? Bro, to be honest, it's a lot of reasons. I tattoo suck my dick because I ultimately feel like that's how I feel for everybody who has a comment about something fucking that I do. So at the end of the day, it's a message that's rooted in the significance of one, not overthinking, doing what the fuck you want to do and just going for it, not caring too much about what the world's going to think about you, you know, because what the fuck's the fun in that? You know, I honestly never seen someone try so hard to justify getting a tattoo of the words suck my dick inked into the side of their forehead like, dude. No amount of explaining in the world will make me say that, hey, this, this tattoo is actually starting to make a lot of sense. By her tattooing suck my dick into the side of her forehead, she's basically just empowering herself to not care about what other people say, no matter how much negativity comes her way. Like, no, that, that tattoo is still and will forever be dumb. I'm, I'm sorry, get that shit lasered off. I mean, I, I, I like it though. Psych.
So yeah, all in all, this whole Telly Zelly situation is basically about a girl who went from preaching about girl power and intellectual poetry to rapping about twerking that ass and popping them perkies and drinking that henny. My, my, my. And this only makes me not want to have a daughter anytime soon. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this Telly Welly Zelly girl down below in the comment section. Spice it up a bit down there and let me see your best playground insults and roast about her tattoo. You know, uh, I'm thinking the best joke will get a follow from me on either Twitter or Instagram when I see it. I'll let you know by hearting it and commenting down below. But yeah, <laughs> if you guys do have any other videos or topics that you want me to cover, just let me know on Discord, Twitter, or whatever, and I'll be sure to see what I can do about it. And yeah, anyways, uh, with that being said, it's Destiny, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Like, oh.